Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media, and I am continuing a four-part series on advertising on Facebook. Part one, we talked about boosting a post. This now is part two, and we're actually going to create an ad in the Ads Manager. This is so important that we understand how to run ads on Facebook, because today, when you create content on your Facebook business page, less than 2% of the people that are following your business page will actually get the post in their news feed. So as you can see here, I did this post. It was a photo album, but it only reached 15 people. And that is not very good for getting my um, and it's not an ad at this point, but getting this property into the right news feeds of potential buyers as a real estate agent. So how do we do that? We do that today by creating ads on our Facebook business page using the Ads Manager. Now, yes, I could just go ahead and click boost a post, but I think that you're going to get more bang for your buck if you learn how to create an ad in the Ads Manager, and that is what this video tutorial is going to be all about. Now, if you want to watch all four of these videos that I've created on advertising for Facebook and Instagram, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, and that way each time I produce a new video, you will get notified right here on YouTube. So let's get started. I am on my Facebook business page wall and I want to create an ad for this particular property. So what I'm going to do on the new look on Facebook, instead of going into the ad center, I'm si simply going to click the plus sign right here and I'm going to click on ad. Once I click that, it takes me over here to my ads manager and all my ads that I will have running will appear down here in one simple line. But today what I want to show you is I want to show you how to create an ad on your Facebook business page as well on your Instagram account if that ad complies with the type of content that Instagram wants in the news feed. So let's go ahead and click on the words create. Perfect, and we're going to go into create a new campaign. And now I have to pick my objective for this campaign. Now this is a whole bunch of photos, so I'm going to click on engagement. Now a traffic ad could be um, a simple photo, it could be a link click or a carousel, and I can even do a traffic ad for a video today. But in this particular case, these are all photos, and I'm going to click on engagement. From here I get a little bit of a drop down menu right here where I can give the ad a campaign and I'm going to give this ad the name of the property's address and then I'm just going to copy it. That way I can paste it onto all three of the pages because when you create an ad in the Ads Manager, you're going to go through a three-page setup. And right now we are on page one and I'm going to click on the words continue. And now what happens is it stays on the same ad setup on page one. And that is because today we have something called the special ad categories. And as I'm a real estate agent and this is regarding a listing, I actually have to turn this on and I have to click the drop down menu and go to where it says housing. You see how it says ads for real estate listings, homeowner insurance, mortgage loans, or other related opportunities? I fall under that category now. So I just go ahead and click it and then I'm going to scroll down a little bit further and you can see there's the type of uh, post I've chosen, post engagement. And because my page has the budget on page one of choosing my ad, I have to choose my budget right away. So I click down and I always choose a lifetime budget. Now for a lot of you, the campaign budget is going to be on the new ad set page two and I will show you that. So let's go ahead and click lifetime budget and notice how it changed the price of this ad right up to $700. I'm just going to take that out for now and I'm going to change it to $30. 
and it says Canadian. So I've got the name of my ad, I've got the amount of money I'm going to spend in the lifetime of this ad, um, and choose engagement, and I have my special ad category turned on. Now I'm going to go ahead and click next in the bottom right hand corner. It says next. And it takes me to the second, as you notice the blue here, at first we were on the first one, this is now the second one, and then we'll go to the third. And I'm going to go where it says new ad set and take that out and paste the name of the property, the address of the property. Then it wants to know how long I'm going to run this particular ad for. And I'm going to have an end date on this particular property on the 15th. So I'm only going to run it for just uh, under two weeks for $30. And then I'm going to choose a, um, not a custom audience, but a new audience. And the location for this new audience is people living in this location that I choose, not people that are recently in this location, because those could be people that are visiting from another province that don't have any uh, plans on moving here. Then with the new ad category, you cannot use postal codes anymore. You cannot adjust the age or the gender, but you can go into the location and I can type in the location. So I might put, uh, Courtney because this property is in Courtney, British Columbia and it says right away within 15 miles and I might just stretch that right up to encompass a lot more of the island and even some of the lower mainland land and Powell River and I also want to put in here Vancouver and Pemberton. So I'm choosing all these areas based on where I think the buyer might come from for this particular property. And this is just to give you a really good idea. Now notice over on the right hand side, it says there's 1,600,000 people chosen to see this particular property. But I'm going to narrow down my audience now by scrolling down and going into detailed targeting and I might put, uh, uh, organic farming, but it will not let me choose that as a category. How about farming? No, it does not. So if I click on suggestions, the only suggestion it's giving me because we are in this new special category is real estate. But I know that now that I have real estate in there, it's going to give me a whole bunch of more choices and I can just go through these properly and choose the ones that I think work. Um, and then you can see my number is changing over here. So yes, it's very frustrating because I used to be able to pe pick people that like farming because this is a very large acreage, uh, people that like to grow their own food, organic, farm to table, things of that nature. So for now, these are the only categories in the detailed targeting that I can choose because of the new special ad category that we had to pick because we're real estate. And we're going to scroll down and that's all we're going to do on the second ad set. And we're going to click the bottom right hand corner where it says next. Now it is in here that I'm going to paste the name once again. So you want to make sure that you identify the Facebook page. Some people have more than one page, so I make sure it's on the correct page. I am going to use an existing post. In the video series that we are doing, I'm going to show you how to create what's known as a dark post by clicking create an ad. And that is something that will be in the series part three in the next video. But for now, we're going to go ahead and use an existing post. Now it says we have to select the post. So we're going to click on select the post and there it is. I posted it on my Facebook business page wall this morning. There's the post and I just simply click continue. And now it says, do you want a call to action? Um, and I do. I want people to message me on Facebook. So I'm going to click the drop down message and it's going to, or button. And it says send message and so I update my post 
And now people can send me a message if they want more information on this particular acreage that has just been listed. So there's my call to action and we scroll down and we're using an existing post and start a conversation that's all set up it's already done so now all I actually have to do is click on the words publish which is located in the bottom right hand corner and this ad will then go into a review process with Facebook um, and it can take you know up to two days for your ad to be accepted I kind of usually say it takes within 12 hours it all depends what's going on as you can see it does say view details um, and I can just close out of there and close down and you can see there is the ad it says that it view which means that um, Facebook is going to review it to make sure that I'm complying with all of the rules and the regulations. For those of you that don't understand what the new ad category that I had to click on for housing, it is because of the Cambridge Analytica scandal and Facebook um, having to set up uh, tighter targeting, um, so discriminatory and things of that nature that... Um, that Facebook has been going through for the last couple of years and now we used to run ads like the Wild West and we could target absolutely anything including people that were retiring and now those parameters are gone when you are a special ad category so unfortunately uh, we have to comply with the new rules and regulations but I'm still finding that my ads are doing phenomenal and that is what we're going to learn when we go into part Four of this series we're going to look at analyzing our ads after they've been running for a couple of days so right now we are in the ads manager we have just created our first ad based upon a post that was already on our wall and created um, and now we turn that into an ad we're simply going to wait for Facebook to accept it and then we're going to wait a couple of days and then we're going to review the ad and the details. That will be in part four. Now part three of our series, we're going to learn how to do a lead generating ad. And this is an ad where we're going to create a dark post so it's not seen on our Facebook business page wall. But this is where we're trying to collect information from people such as a market evaluation or a buyer package or maybe you want people to sign up for your newsletter it all depends what your motivation is for creating our lead gen ad and I'm really excited to share this one with you uh, in our next series if you have any questions just ask them right below here on YouTube in the comment section or if you're watching this video on Facebook by all means add a comment and I will get back to it this is Heather and remember everyone Keep it simple.